I've said it before and I'll say it again. Quantum Dream really knows how to tug at the heartstrings. Similar to Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls tells the story of tragedy and heartbreak. Unlike Heavy Rain, instead of focusing on four narratives to tell one gripping tale, the story focuses on just one protagonist, Jody Holmes. Not to say the story is all about her though. Save for a few people in the game, there is almost no happy tales here. And that's where Lorne Boff steps in. Now I don't want to say Lorne's job was easier on Beyond than it has been on different video game titles, but there is a very different way to go about scoring it. Beyond plays very much like a movie, and while there are a lot of gameplay bits, a majority of this super emotional soundtrack is saved for the many cutscenes throughout the game. The reason I love this movie direction is that, in my opinion, it saves you from the repetitiveness that springs from being stuck in an area too long and having the music lose its power. Now for a look at the soundtrack as a whole. The runtime itself is barely over 40 minutes. It seems short, especially for what is essentially a 10 to 11 hour long movie. But the reason it's short is because every song has a beginning and end. When you think about some of your favorite soundtracks, you have to really listen and figure out exactly how long is the actual song before it just loops and starts over. And beyond, there is no loop. It gives a huge listening replay value. You're listening to the actual, full, beginning to end orchestrated songs that all have their own story to tell. So as far as individual tracks go, it's hard to pick any major standouts. They all sit as a whole emotionally charged ride. It's really hard to narrow it down to something like a top three, but if you're trying to remember all the great parts in the game and need musical guidance to ink out that emotion, then I would check out Jody's Story, Dawkins' Sweet, and Black Sun as a guideline to get you started. These tracks are what house all the main themes of the game and provide the most value in terms of emotion. But again, the soundtrack is short, so it's not a difficult feat to listen to the entire soundtrack in a single setting. And trust me, hearing all these tracks in a row is a journey in itself that will keep this game planted in your memory for a long time to come. Beyond Two Souls is far from a perfect game. The gameplay is simplistic, and while the story is great, it's sometimes hard to feel things for Jody when the story's bouncing around so much and you're not even sure how she got to where she is. But what is great is Ellen Page's and Willem Dafoe's ability to hold the story together and make you feel things you thought you could never feel for a video game character. And with the music driving these feelings home at every turn, Beyond Two Souls accomplishes what games set out to do, and that's to make you forget you're playing just a video game and truly make you feel like you're experiencing an interactive piece of art. It's really a great game. With a soundtrack that years from now, I will gladly pop in and once again get lost in the emotions Quantum Dream has once again succeeded in making me feel. Until next time, thanks for listening.